Welcome to my channel. This is Ken with DIY Home Hydroponics. Now I'm not going to argue whether doing hydroponics or doing box gardening is better. It's about using the resources that you have available. Whether you live in an apartment or you live own your own home. Use whatever method that best suits your own personal lifestyle. Even though I've been doing hydroponics and box gardening for over a decade, I'm not an expert. I'm still learning this as I'm going. So use whatever method that best suits your needs and your garden. So I wanted to design an aeroponics tower garden after using an NFT system for quite a long time. It kind of got me interesting seeing whether it is, if it's any better. So far this system has been running for a week or two and it's doing so well. Growing strawberries, scallions, and hot peppers and cilantro. So the design. So I want to use my pre-existing 4 inch net cups. And the only thing they had available at Home Depot were these 4 inch PVC pipes that didn't exactly fit my net cups. So I had to do a little bit creative engineering. Now these PVC pipes were cut in 6 inches in length and at 45 degrees angles. Well going into this project I knew that I want to stick to my 4 inch net cups and I already knew that the outer diameter of my net cups were a little bit too small for the PVC pipes. So I had to go figure out a solution, engineering one. Here you can see an overlay of the net cup and the PVC pipe. Instantly they will just slide right through and fall to the bottom of the tower garden. So using the cross-sectional cut of the PVC pipes, I trace the inner diameter of the PVC pipe onto a cardboard. The top oval template is what I'm going to be using to give myself a general idea of the spacing between the net cups on the 5x5 fencing posts. The bottom oval template is where I indicated where I want to cut on the oval shape, which you'll see in a minute. Here you see where I traced the first oval template and with the second oval template I traced the opening of where I want to cut into the 5x5 PVC fencing posts. Here is an overlay of the 4 inch PVC pipe on the 5x5 fencing posts and how it fits snugly. For my tank I used basically a 20 gallon fish liner as my nutrient reservoir. And inside the reservoir is a uh, submersible pump, which is a 10 foot uh, lift height capability, which is connected to a 8 foot vinyl tubing that carries uh, the res uh, nutrients all the way from the bottom of the reservoir to all the way to the top. Once the nutrients reach the top of the cap of the aeroponics, it's evenly dispersed drip-wise back down to the system using two 5x5 five five, uh, fencing post caps which one of them have drilled holes which allows the even dispersion of the nutrients back down the tower. So basically the two 5x5 five five end caps are basically glued onto a cross-sectional cut of the 5x5 five five fencing posts. For the nutrients I use, I basically use the general hydroponics system, the flora grow, flora micro, and the flora bloom. I also use botany care cow mag for all my calcium magnesium needs. I also been experimenting on developing my own kelp fertilizer for this experiment. So here's a little mini update. We just had a cold frost where a couple of days hit close to freezing temperature. So of course I was worried about my plants, especially the hot peppers. Didn't know whether they are going to survive. So I still have 18 gallons of the reservoir. It's about, probably lost about a gallon over the past 10 days. And here I'm checking the pH and EC. Remove any of the bubbles that can be trapped at the bottom of the probe. 
I get a pH about 6.16. This is where I'm talking what I want. An EC of 2.23, which is just about right for this system. Now, I might do a nutrient flush or a partial flush over the next week. We'll see. Overall, the health of the system, hydroponic system, is pretty good. Strawberries are growing, flowers are blooming. Getting back to what I was talking about the net pots, see, see there are only about like three and a half, three, three, three and three fourths or something. And just way, way too small for the four inch diameter, inner diameter of this PVC pipe that could just easily fall down. Of course the camera blurs out. But um, thanks to those uh, modifications I made to my cuts, the net pot just fits in snugly. Alright, here's another maintenance thing that I gotta do. I usually just check the how the water is flowing down. So since I connected to my phone, I just usually tap the on button and this pump just turns on and you can see how it's flowing. Looks like the nutrient system is flowing nicely and smooth. And of course, I always check the top and make sure everything's working perfectly. Looks like I got a lot of particle build up up there. Well, it's just minor. Okay, Google. Turn off aeroponics. Okay, turning aeroponic tower off. After a quick wipe down, okay, Google. let's turn, turn back on. on. Okay, turning on aeroponic tower. That's pretty cool, I think. Well, the flowers are blooming on all the strawberry plants, so I'm pretty happy. They look absolutely healthy. Skies are growing really fast. The hot pepper on the hands taking the beating from the cold blast we had. Cilantro's, on, I don't know, it's give or take. I don't know. We'll see how it goes next week. Well, folks, that's all I have for today. As always, put, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, try and hit 1,000 subscribers so I can generate more content. And put your thoughts, comments, and suggestions below. I'd love to hear what's on your mind. Peace out, guys.